Hi, uh, Luke here again from Technocamps, and today we're going to be talking about the Pigpen Cipher. So the Pigpen Cipher it was made by uh, a group called the Freemasons, and it's been used throughout history as long as their organization has been about. And the Freemasons are kind of like a secret club. They've got secret handshakes and codes and rituals and stuff that they're not really supposed to share with the outside world. Um, so the Pigpen Cipher involves these four grids on the right-hand side. Now, we can imagine that these grids are kind of a top-down view of a pigsty, and each of the letters is a pig stuck inside a pen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, encryption first. So we're going to encrypt the word cryptography. So the first thing we need to do is find the letter C in the grid. Now the letter C is up here, and the shape of the grid it's in is kind of, the pen that it's in is kind of like an uppercase L. So we're going to draw that shape. Okay, here we go, like an uppercase L. And then we find the next letter. So the next letter is an R. So if we try and find the letter R in the grid, it's over here. And the shape of its grid is kind of this right angled shape here, but also with a dot in a corner. So we draw that symbol next. Then we look for the letter Y. Um, so the letter Y is over here. Uh, so it's kind of like a less than shape, but with a dot in it. So we draw that one next. And then we look for a P. P is here. So we're going to draw this shape with a dot. And we repeat this process over and over again with each of the letters of cryptography until we've got the entire code written out. Okay, so that was encryption, kind of simple. So let's have a go at decryption. So we've got this uh, ciphertext that's been sent to us and we can't really read it. So we need to find the first shape pen. So it's kind of like this shape and that corresponds to the shape here. And inside that pen is the letter I. So we're gonna write down the letter I. Then we need to look for the next shape. Well, the next shape is kind of like a V. And if we look, there we go, there's the V shape. And inside that is the letter S. So we'd write down the letter S. Our next shape is kind of like a, a squared off C, maybe. So we look at the grids and we see that the F is inside a squared off C shape, a pen. So we write down the letter F. Um, then we've got the less than symbol and we see that that's the same as the, the pen that the letter U is inside. And last but not least, we've got a square box with a dot in it. And we find that that's what the N pen looks like. So it's a square box with a dot. And we read that the ciphertext message that was sent to us says, is fun. Okay, so that's how we use pig pens. We encrypt using pig pens and decrypt using pig pens.